Hello everyone, this is Ducey, and there is a new Encounter Plus update 4.11, and I have a full video with every tiny little nitty gritty change coming, but before I dive into that, I wanted to do a short video just to get you up and running with the basics of the changes that have come into Encounter Plus. The biggest change is the token workflow, the way you can add tokens to a map now. Not the way that you add them, but kind of the way that you work with them. So let's get some tokens in here. So we're going to add a knight. And if I drag it in like this, the first thing you'll notice is this combat tracker not present. So if I hit save, I've just added a knight to the map, but it did not go into initiative by default. If you go up into the settings, your default setting will be combat and map but you can have it add just to the combat tracker up here or just to the map so by default. Now, when you drag it in, you get to choose that option. But if I hit load here, there we go. It drops it in here and automatically puts it into the combat tracker. So we've got a knight. Let's do um, a noble, a couple of nobles and some guards. Great. Well, they've now loaded into both places like normal. And this is great if we're quickly wanting to load in a fight. But let's say we're not. Let's say we're wanting to pre-populate this map with a bunch of tokens that our players can discover as they walk around and jump in and out of here. Well, I can say, mm, let's say the knight is talking to the noble and is talking to this noble. There's a guard here, a guard here, um, there's a guard doing something uh, out here to having a snack in the kitchen and there's someone else over there. Well, I can take this multi-select tool, highlight all of them, click on them. There's a new context menu that comes up for all the tokens, but I can easily hit this to take them out of combat. And now they're all here on this map. And as my tokens come exploring, Let's turn on line of sight. I'm also going to turn on fog of war and token exploration, and you'll see what that is in a second. I'm also going to hit this new player view button here so we can see exactly what the players would be seeing. And now they can explore and they will see these tokens as creatures or whatever that are in the room, but they're not automatically loaded into here. Now there's another option in settings here that is hidden by default. So if you have that on, as you add any new tokens, they will automatically start hidden. But again, with this new workflow, I can highlight them all quickly and hide them if I want. Let me go back into the DM view so I can see them again. Show them. So the point is you can completely populate a map and now instead of having to load encounters and reset encounters all the time, you can just highlight what you want and say, oh, you're gonna fight them? Well, now I'll load them into the initiative tracker. Fantastic. Now you may notice that as I move around here, when I click on a token, it now only shows that tokens, I didn't do all the walls here yet, <laughs> it only shows that tokens vision when I click on it. And you'll also notice that with fog of war and exploration, token exploration on, I can now see all of the places that I have visited, but they are grayed out and I don't even see the tokens unless I actually have line of sight on them. So as I click on each one, I get their vision and there is an option when you are playing online or using a second screen, do you have shared party vision? And the, it will default to partial, which means inside of combat on a player's turn, it will only show that player's line of sight. But in any other situation, it will show everybody. So if I start combat, roll initiative. Okay, the first player's Jim, so I see Jim's. And as I go next, now I see Henry's next. It's a NPC or a, or a monster. It's a DM controlled one. I see everything. And so does the party. Everyone kind of sees what's going on, but when it gets back to their turn, it's made super clear what each person can see. And again, you can change that 
right here. You can say, go back to how it was and always have shared vision or never had shared vision, no matter what, they can only see their own. That makes a lot of sense online if you're wanting each person to only see what they can normally see in or out of combat. The next best thing is this map now saves with tokens and hit points. So if we say this guy took five damage and they're dead, and we say this guy took one damage and they're not, I can close this map, go open it up again, and everything is saved right where I left it. This is great for changing campaigns, playing with different groups, or just picking up later. Fantastic. Now, if you do unload your party and reload them in later because you've played with different groups, I do believe those reset uh, if you do that. So be careful with that. Of course, you already saw some of these new menus that pop up when you click on things. Um, if you click once, you get a thing. Twice, three times, you get a thing. Uh, let me turn off DM view and show you that uh, when you add a marker on the map now, If you click it once, it gives you the same menu as well. Everything will give you a similar menu. It's all unified. It's much better. Though, if you click again, then you get the contents of that marker. And some of these shortcuts here are super handy. You can hide people very quickly, unhide them quickly, add a condition real fast, take them out of combat, add them back into combat with the shield, edit the token, or view or edit the actual reference for the monster or NPC or whatever. And a super quick run through of some of the other things that have moved around and changed just to give you an idea. Your web client settings, if you play online with the uh, subscription, have moved into the settings now. So here they are, web server. So they took them out of this external screen. There's your shared party vision options. Works really good with different interaction settings. Check all those out. There's some new fog of war tools in here that you should mess around with. There is a new layer just for lights. Map settings have been split. Some of the tools were moved into their own little section over here. And under here, we've got uh, some new grid options, metric, Grid styles now, so you can do corner style grids. Of course, the fog of war that we looked at, vision limit. We've got weather, so we can make it snow. And a few DM specific settings. Oh, and I almost missed type square. We've got a uh, We've got hex grids now, you can see there. Yeah. On iOS, you can rotate tokens by just putting your two fingers on and turning left and right, or on Mac, you can hold shift. Oh, and one last change. Those of you that were used to just having a blank map when you got rid of all of your other maps, that map was called the Legacy Battle Map. It is gone now for technical reasons, but know that you've got a plus button right up here, or if you're on iOS, might be under the three dots buttons that gives you all these options to quickly create a new map. And even if it's the only map you ever use, you can just make that map real fast and you are now back in business with your quick and dirty uh, empty map. Just make a new map if you're missing that legacy battle map. So those are the quick changes. I hope you enjoy all those. I'll be posting a new video soon. If you have any questions, as always, hop over in the Discord. There's a link in the description. We'll see you there. Have fun slaying those dragons.